T minus five minutes and counting. Wow, wow. Holy cow. Okay, they're going to go ahead and start the What a crowd. Much more powerful. All right. Now we're going to get started, 41 seconds in. Auxiliary power units are uh, going to get fired up here. Things are going to happen here in rapid green. sequence. Uh, Leroy, this is when things. Uh, this is when the crew when it starts, starts thinking, right? Absolutely. Yes. What are they doing right now? Well, they are. They have got their game faces on. They've had their game faces on. They went through this MPD roller coaster of maybe having a problem. Two seconds of train back home remaining. Two seconds. Two seconds of drain back hole. Yeah. I didn't wow. catch that. So, so they have drain back hole. What is that all about? The drain back on the fuel? I think I think it's okay. It's so probably they okay. have two seconds uh, spare in the window. I think we had two seconds left in the window. Yeah. Pilot Eric Bow reporting three good auxiliary. Three good apus units. have started. That's good. That's a key point. T minus four minutes and counting. Okay, coming up next is the main engine gimbal test. Actually, the aerosurface profile test. Three main You'll see the uh, preparation for main tail surfaces start. move there of the shuttle. Just like a pilot running through the full motions of his plane controls before takeoff. Then you'll see the engines all gimbal. And Leroy, you said you can hear a noticeable bang inside. You can, you can feel you can feel it more than hear it. You can feel them hit their hit their limits and as they move around. Kind of hear them rumbling. Minus She's a live beast, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Final aero surface checks. Are there are the gimbals Discovery's of the engines. Three main yep. engines will be gimbled through a pre-programmed -pro series of maneuvers as a final test before launch. Up next, they'll retract the gaseous oxygen vent arm at two minutes and fifty seconds before launch, which is coming up in fifteen seconds. Most people call it the beanie cap. Just so you know who you're going to be hearing, you're hearing all kinds of voices here. That's Mike Curie. Mike Leinbach is the launch director. You're not going to hear much of him anymore. Johnson Space uh, Center takes uh, control after liftoff. Josh Byerly is the commentator. The flight directory is Richard Jones. You'll be hearing Charlie Hobaugh on the communication links between Steve Lindsay, the commander of um, Discovery. So those are your voices. Mike Curie now. You'll soon hear Josh Byerly after liftoff. By the way, the liftoff phrase today was selected by the Discovery team en masse. So we're going to hear what the lift off, lift off, and there's always a phrase that they use of discovery on a blank. Uh, that is uh, has been decided and discussed among the team, and we'll hear what that is. Uh, then we'll hear Josh Byerly, and then we'll hear Charlie Hobaugh on the uh, communications, and you'll hear us talking, of course. Okay, O2 flow. That's very serious. This yeah. is when yeah. it becomes yeah. really real. Yeah. This is where you've closed and locked your visors, you're breathing pure oxygen, and you are ready to go. Suddenly, this is where it's, you just feel it is not a sim. All right, T minus two. I am so glad this big crowd here on the Space Coast, upwards of 40,000 people plus all around the Space Coast, are going to see this on this beautiful day, the last launch of the Space Shuttle Discovery. Crew of six on its way to the International Space Station, carrying some supplies, a robot, and a spare closet for the International Space Station. <laughs> on their way, we hope, in about a minute and 30 seconds. What a day. One minute, 30 seconds. 90 seconds. Counting. All systems are go. About 90 seconds away from the launch of Space Shuttle Discovery on her final mission. T minus one minute, 10 seconds and counting. The liquid hydrogen tank inside the external tank is now at the proper flight pressure. T minus one minute. One minute. Counting. One minute. The ground launch sequencer will verify that the three main engines are ready to start. The booster joint heaters are being deactivated at this time. T minus 48 seconds, and we're transferring to orbiter internal power. Discovery is now running on its uh, three onboard fuel cells. What? Why just leave them open, please? Auto sequence start at T minus 31 seconds. And we have a go for auto sequence start. Discovery's onboard computers have primary control of all the vehicle's critical functions. 20 seconds. The sound suppression water system has been activated, protecting Discovery and the launch pad from acoustical energy waves. Go for main engine start. We have main engine start. Two, one. Booster 
sensor ignition, and the final liftoff of Discovery, a tribute to the dedication, hard work, and pride of America's space shuttle team. The shuttle has cleared the tower. now making one last reach for the stars. the area of maximum pressure, reducing the stress on the shuttle as it goes supersonic. Discovery Houston, you are go at throttle up. Will Commander Steve Lindsay acknowledging the call from Capcom Charlie Hope on Discovery's three main engines. Uh, two seconds throttle to go in the window, and Discovery launches on her fi final voyage. Lindsay is joined on the flight deck by pilot Eric Bowen, mission specialist. Still got a ways to go here. We're just a couple of minutes, one and a half, and a half in. We want to want to see those solid rocket boosters come off. So right. far, uh, the, uh, the go with throttle mission up, specialist which is the Mike Max Q Bowen. moment, the point at which the shuttle faces the biggest aerodynamic stresses. Uh, everything okay 25 so far? I haven't seen any debris falling off. No, I haven't it's seen any. It's hard to see. Solid rocket boosters got about another more than seven million pounds of so thrust. Solids. One minute, fifty seconds right into now, the flight, uh, standing by for separation of the twin 3, solid rocket boosters. Discovery now traveling 2,695 miles an hour. Right it's altitude well, 24 miles. The range from Kennedy uh, Space Center is 29 miles. You can barely see them, yeah. and but now it's tailing off. They're feeling the acceleration tail off. All right, and you'll we see the solids coming burn out. Up. Separation the right solids. there. That's a good and moment. Now it is glass smooth in that cockpit. It just feels like you're sitting. In a room. And who was it? Some astronauts thought separation the engines had stopped. I didn't. It was you. I did. On my first mission, my I thought it got so flight. quiet and so smooth, I thought the engines had all stopped. Go, Discovery, go. Go. <laughs> Two minutes, 25 seconds into the flight, Discovery traveling 3,189 miles an hour. It's altitude 37 the miles. The most traveled the of space, space shuttle Center, vehicles. Yes, indeed. I've Already 142 million miles in the odometer. Discovery that was a moving launch. Orbit from its twin orbital maneuvering system engines on either side of the shuttle's tail.